What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, I'm going to be doing joins for dummies. I'm going to explain what joins are and I'm going to do it in a way where I explain like every single little bit of it and I'm going to do this because and I say this in a lot of my other videos that something isn't important but joins are by far like up 100% joins will be used in your development career joins will be used in an analyst career and joins just in general are what are going to allow you to pull data in all different types of way and get to data very quickly and very, I guess like the word would be very robustly. It's going to, you know, be, it's just going to be very important. Learn, if you don't learn it from me, learn it from somebody else. And somebody actually asked me this. I swear to God, somebody yesterday asked me, what is the most important thing I should learn? Like I'm about to get hired as a software developer and what is the most important thing that I should learn? And I swear to God, I said, SQL joins like learn SQL joins before you get hired because I didn't know what joins were before I got hired as a software developer and like I probably like my hair's like thinning a little bit already but like I probably like thinned like my hair more <laughs> because it was stress learning if you did like I didn't know what joins were and I had to learn them quickly and it was very stressful but you're not going to have to go through that because I'm going to explain it to you very simply so go here right click so we have if you don't have this already uh i have a dummy database but you could do this on anything but i'm just gonna go through i'm just gonna go right here i'm gonna right click the top 1000 rows and i'm just gonna pull the top first top 1000 records with the gui just by clicking this and i pull that up and i get this product table right here and also just for the heck of it i'm also going to pull the brand table and the reason I'm going to pull the brand table and just get the top 1,000 rows of the brand table is because if you look at this table, we have the primary key right here. This is the primary key because you can always identify the primary key because it has the product and it has the ID or it has the product ID and the product is the actual table. So we know it's the primary key because it's got the table name in it. Then we have the brand ID. Whenever you're in your career as a software developer or whatever, you're going to see foreign, like these are foreign, these are called foreign keys because these are referencing other tables. And you may be wondering like, well, I know that's the foreign key, Teddy, but I don't really know like what is like the big deal. So we went ahead and we pulled our brand table. And if you don't want, if, if you don't want to pull the brand table, you don't have to, I'm, I'm going to anyway. So this is our brand table. And to kind of demonstrate the fact, what I always do is I just take, I get like a snippet of this. I just take a snapshot of this and I got a snapshot right here in my paint. And I'm going to bring it over here to my actual brand table and or uh, my product table. And this is like really what at the end of a the day, like what a join is doing. A join is literally just going to tie this brand ID with this table. And it's just going to smack it right over here into the table and display it for you. That's like all a join is. So, but it's not going to be displayed just like one, two, three, four. What it's going to do is it's going to match them. So number not so for our first record right here, it would be nine. So this is a trek would be right here. So instead of Electra, it's going to be trek. And this, <laughs> this is terrible. But I didn't really feel like going all out. Like I figured it would just be better just to kind of like display it. So number five is going to be, let's go search for number five. It's going, it's not going to be Harrow. It's going to be Richie. And you can't even tell like what that is, but you get the picture. So instead of one, it's going to be nine. So instead of five, instead of two, it's going to be five and I hope hopefully that demonstrate, but that's literally what an inner join is going to do. It's going to match every single one that matches and an inner join is going to be the first one we're going to talk about and the one that's going to be the most um, common. So pulling up the, the documentation here, you can just kind of tell they demonstrate, they demonstrated by a Venn diagram. This is what it's, but really when it has this right here, what it's really saying is that for each, uh, table whenever you do this join or whenever you take these tables and you smash them together 
you're going to match them by their primary keys and you're only going to match the primary keys if they both have them and that's really like pretty much what a join is and what an inner join is but that's going to be literally the gist of it so we're just going to go up here and i'm going to explain to you each keyword step by step because inner join like i said is going to be very very important so we go in here we go inner join and then we're going to have the actual table so the table that we want is going to be in first we want to give an alias because we could do this without an alias but it's going to look really bad and you really just don't want so an alias is just pretty much you're going to give it a variable and many times you'll see as right here but sql server just allows you to put the p and the reason we call it p is for products so the next thing that you're going to do is copy this or you could just type this out if you want to and then we're going to choose what we're going to join to and we did the brand so this one is going to be production dot brands that's the table that we're going to join then we're going to give this one a b and then the next is going to be on so on is kind of this is pretty intuitive right here like your inner join this is basically saying to sql server so you want me to do an inner join but i need to know which table because otherwise you know that it really wouldn't make sense you need the table and you also need to describe to sql server where you're going to do the join and this is kind of this is just kind of this is a little complicated but just kind of bear with me here and we're just going to to hold on one second we'll worry about this little squiggly line here in a second i'll explain that so we're going to go up here so on p dot brand id and b let's see b i got caps lock cap caps lock on brand dot id and that's pretty much all that we're going to have to do so on p this is actually we could actually just type out this whole like if we really wanted to and you don't you really don't want to do this because it's bad I, I, you just don't see that a lot it's it's bad etiquette i guess the word would say it's bad convention you always want to describe it from the alias because it's going to save you a lot of time and that's just typically what you always see in a production environment and once again all this inner join means is say hey go get this is the table that i want and then on is going to say join it on these two because you can't like if you just went to just category like you couldn't join the brand id like i guess that you could but it's just not it's not going to be the correct data this is saying this is where I want you to glue them together. This is like where I want the actual glue to be done. And remember how we went through and we did this kind of like with our, you know, paint here, like just kind of like manually went and did it. This is what's going to act. This is what's going to tell the computer to do this automatically, or it's, this is what's going to automate it. So essentially what's going to happen here is that SQL server is going to go through each one. It's going to go through each row and it's going to check eight. So eight instead of the three, it's going to be eight. And we're going to, it's going to be a surly, whatever a surly is. And it's just going to go down through each one of them. So this one is going to be, nine so instead this is not actually going to be it's going to be nine and then it's going to for nine it's going to be it's going to be a track so right here would be a track and that's actually what it's going to do so up here we have this brand id and this is an ambiguous name so if you just leave all of these select statements up here essentially what it's going to say is what this ambiguous error is saying is that hey uh there's two brand ids up here and i don't know which one you want that's what ambiguous means it's saying hey like there's two of these things up here and I, I really don't know which one you want so you're gonna have to tell me which one you want and in this case 
a better idea would to be just display them all. And an asterisk is just saying, dis hey, just display everything. I, I just want to see everything. And we're going to go ahead, execute it. And that's exactly what happened. We went through and it automated all of that. So Trek, we have the Richie, we have the Surly, we have the Trek. And it went ahead and it did all of that for us and joined the table together. And we didn't have to like go through and do each one of those like we were going to. But we can't stop there because every whenever you work in a software development environment, that's not going to be the only one. Like you, it's not going to be that simple. So we need to go in here, and we need to join another table, and that's exactly what we're going to do. You can join tables on tables on tables. Like you could, like I've had, like one time at work, and I've actually, it, I actually made a YouTube video on this, like. I had the most complex SQL joins, just like all these crazy SQL joins. Like I was going into all different types of tables and joining things together. And like, literally I became so good at joins because I had to like join all of these tables together. So same thing, we're just gonna go in here. We're gonna go joins and then we're going to join the category ID. And we're just gonna call it C because we don't wanna have to paste in all of that stuff. So we're gonna go in here and we're going to join the P dot category ID on the P or the C dot. Let's see here. We've got something, something's going on here. We've got B. So P dot category ID is equal to C. Oh, uh, you gotta, we're gonna have to, I forgot to change that. So that's gotta be categories. So we're going here, C dot category ID, and then we're going to do the same exact thing. We're just going to join them together. The P dot, this is actually standing for our table right here. And we're going to join it by that category ID. And it's going to do the same exact thing. So here it's gonna six, 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 six. It's gonna join all of those. And we're going to have all our categories, which are mountain bikes, a little bit more uniform compared to our brand names. And we will be able to see all of those on the table. So might be a good idea to clean this table up a little bit too. So we'll just, we can just go up here. We can actually remove all of those, uh, keys so we'll go here we'll go brand name and using the select we can kind of clean this table up a little bit and make it look a little bit better so we're not you know wrecking our brains trying to fit you know looking through all of these and then we can go ahead and run this and we can get a nice little squeaky clean table that displays all the data that we need and nothing that we don't anyway hope that you guys enjoyed this if this cleared up a lot of things for you make sure to hit that like button uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be doing um, outer joints next. If you liked it, make sure, like I said, make sure to follow. And as, and as always, uh, thank you for watching.